fight these guys so um, it takes a lot of, uh, of uh, mad time and, and, and tournament time for you to feel comfortable at least somewhat comfortable fighting against a guy who's been watching him fighting everywhere and now we're in the same level in the same belt and on the same match so yeah you better be fighting so this match is a semi-final in the light featherweight division Richard Alacon up against Paolo Miao Alakon on top, trying to posture up inside the guard of Paolo Miao. And Alakon, for me, he is one of those, um, one of those real dark horses, because uh, Alakon is, uh, you really see his name like really right up there in the, in the results and stuff, but anytime he enters a division, be careful, because he's got great jujitsu, he's got great wrestling, he's very aggressive, great work rates and he's the kind of guy that if he's on your side of the bracket man be careful right yeah yeah he brings a lot of action uh follow me i was trying to get a, a shoulder crunch right there maybe for a sweep or for a triangle trap let's see what he's up to stepping on the hips making it tough on alicon this is a real clash of styles this yeah, match it is it is you know alicon is the uh the gritty nogi grappler with a great top wrestling player. background, top player. Top player. He doesn't, he doesn't want to do anything to do with uh, with guard. Paulo Miao is the classic Guadero, right? The the guy who has just an amazing guard, amazing bottom game. But at the same time, as we saw in his last match, man, he can put the pressure on as well. Oh, yeah. We set into the center of the mat. Paulo Miao on bottom, those long legs. Incredibly long legs for the weight division, right? Incredibly long legs. Yeah. It's uh, definitely helped his career. He was able to figure out how to use them. Those long levers uh, posed many problems for his opponents for forever. Alakon really. Oh, there we go. Meow opens the guard. This gives Alakon some room to move, but. You can count the amount of people who have passed Paolo Miao's guard on, on one, one hand. hand. Right? And even in, in, there will still be fingers out there. Yeah. It's, it's really ever seen. It's just one of those things. It's like a, a lunar eclipse, a solar eclipse, all at the same time. It's like right that rare. <laughs> Interesting. You see uh, Alicorn stepping on the leg. That is the, Yeah. Thanks to the Rutolo brothers, really popularized that move. Not the first people to use it, but they've definitely yeah, shown the effectiveness of yes. it, right? Now, this match is 0-0 as well. I think that's important to know. Though, you know, we are uh, just over four minutes into this match, and it's wide open. No, no score on the board whatsoever, so plenty of opportunity still for either man to make their mark on this match either score or just do something memorable that the judges will will remember and will consider when it comes to giving their decision right, right? coaching from the sidelines is Paulo's brother joao miao his twin brother Oh, look at this, leg entry for Miao. Tries to suck him in, and he comes up really on well top. Right there. 
Very smart strategy from Miao. You can see in the top left of the screen is uh, Joao Miao, and not only him actually, but you also see Gianni Grippo there uh, supporting Paolo. They've been training together a lot, and beautiful knee slice pass there from Paolo Miao. Man, he can put the pressure on when now, he wants to. Now we're going to see that pressure because he's using the he's using the hand under the under the the, the shoulder blade which takes you the ability to breathe properly. So it, it hurts. And the guy that does it with amazingly well is Rodolfo Vieira. Right. And he's passing, his hand goes under your shoulder blade, you can barely breathe. Paulo is using that right there. Paulo Miao has had just one match so far in this division and this is a position we've seen Alakon in before. And that could be a takedown. He's oh, actually, no. he's, Paolo he's amazing. Smart. At, yeah. Smart right there. Paolo turned back in and, but you know, Alakon is actually, he's able to wrestle up from underneath that position and to, um, to, uh, he's, he scored from that. I remember he did it to Gianni a couple of years ago at Nogi Pants. It's, uh, you cannot underestimate his ability to score in those kind of situations. I think it's Joao is, is, is uh, Shouting at him not to, not to, not to pull guard. Oh, look at that once again. Deep shot in from Alakon. Head right underneath the hips. It can become a two point right there. There you go. Alakon there needs go. to put me out down though. He's got solid control of the leg. There Goes go. up the two upper body. Right oh no. But not quite yet. Meow kicks out and up and away. Denies Alakon the point. Just the advantage. Currently with a five-point lead is Paolo Miao, and I'm sensing there's a little bit more energy in the match now, yeah, right? Yeah. Paolo's warm, he's completely warmed up, almost having a little bit of fun. <laughs> when he has fun, we have fun. <laughs> yeah. Richard Alacon, good luck in trying to figure out the guard of Paolo Miao. Yeah. He won't be the first person to attempt it, and he won't be the last, but not easy tough job man diving knee slice attempt there but now is able to turn that into a leg entanglement yeah, and trying to suck that leg into and I don't feel like he's using the leg entanglement to try and go to the back or even to try and get a leg lock, but he's controlling those legs. And as we saw earlier, he could just come up. He could yeah, just come exactly. up and score an easy two score points. Two points yeah. Alicorn working both sides here, going left and right. And this time using the, the leg pin pass on the inside of the thigh, not just the, uh, the shin. Right. Yeah, he got the position that he wanted to come around. Less than two minutes remaining. Paolo Mio's flexibility still. Second to none. Oh my God. Even after all these years mm -hmm. and the positions that he's been put into by his opponents, he's still able to. In because some open classes and all. <laughs> yeah, well. it's true, especially right. when they were colored belts, they used to fight in the open class a lot. Not so much as black belts, but in the colored yeah, yeah, belt the days they did, yeah. Yeah, but he fought, he fought, uh, uh, Otavino Lachinas. <laughs> <laughs> so, Literally three times Paolo's size, yeah. Sucks Alakon into the closed guard. And this is smart because Alakon's a fast opponent. He's the kind of guy who's got great movement, so smart strategy in slowing him down and going for that control. Alakon trying to open the guard, but. Now's ability to control the back of the head and control the posture is key here. Every time Alakon comes up, Meow draws him back down. 
much prefer to open the guard on his terms rather than allow Alakon to dictate. And if we go down the dying seconds, there's about 10 seconds left on the official clock. Paolo Miao still up five points to zero. One last sweep comes up onto top, but no points as the time had already gone. But however, one last second advantage. And Paolo Miao takes that one, 5-0. He's fighting the winner of uh, Junior Casio and, uh, well, are they fighting? Yeah, it looks like Bebeto, uh, Oliveira, and Junior Casio are on the other side of that bracket.